When it came to his health, Guillermo Chia thought he was playing his cards right until his doctor sent him in for a stress test. And uh, the stress test uh, came out uh, very bad because it was only 30% of ejection fraction. In other words, his arteries were so blocked he needed bypass surgery, especially considering his family history. I have my mother and I have my, my brother. Both passed away because they had a heart attack. Dr. Steve Zaitis and Roy Williams at Mount Sinai determined Guillermo was a candidate for robotic-assisted coronary artery bypass surgery. In plain terms, it's bypass surgery that you need that you get uh, very conventionally through open heart approaches only is, is really the mainstay of the way to do it for blockages that are not fixable with the use of stents. You know, the robot has a tremendous value for operating in the chest. You know, it was basically designed to do that. This unique alternative to open heart surgery improves blood flow to the heart using surgical instruments and a camera attached to the arms of a robotic machine, which are controlled by an expert surgeon. And once you get used to doing it, um, it really becomes an extension of your hand. So it allows you to work inside the chest without, you know, making a big incision, without spreading ribs, without having, actually needing to have your hands in there. Uh, with that, we can treat one vessel, two vessel, three vessel surgery. Because the procedure is done through a very small incision, there's less pain, fewer complications, and a faster recovery. About the third day, I didn't have pain, just discomfort. Guillermo is now able to walk a flight of stairs without stopping to catch his breath. I'm feeling good. Really, I'm feeling good.